Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're back 8.4.5, all paths explained uh, and the easiest path and the boss fights. Carrying on from the series as you guys may have watched uh, previous videos, if not check those out if you need the assistance for 8.4.4, 100% completion, 8.4.5, uh, so on so on. So just to recap, the reason we're doing this is because to become Valiant you obviously need to rank two or rank three six seven stars um and to do that or rank three seven stars and to do that you need 100 percent completion so far at the time of recording 100 percent completion of act eight for the two to three gem and um necropolis comp first just one walk sort of one playthrough just completion not um 100 percent exploration uh, for the second one so that's how you'd get valiant which is the reason why we're doing these videos. So let's jump into this one uh, and carry it on as usual. So the easiest path on um, on this, I think, would be the one beginning with Daredevil. This was definitely the, uh, the one I gave a go first. I'm a big fan of uh, weapon nodes, so I think you could probably go for either or. Um, on the Daredevil path, there's really not too many tricky... Um, Tricky fights and the same really for the um, Spider-Man Miles Morales. So maybe we'll start with Spider-Man Miles Morales because the, there are easy defenders. So we got the weapon node. Whenever the defender hits into the block, all blocks are hit. They inflict a non-stacking power lock passive for three seconds. Cooldown six seconds. Whenever the attacker will gain power while power locked, they are inflicted with a 90% fragility passive. Fragility increases critical damage rating of incoming attacks and decreases block proficiency. To disarm it, you need to get a combo of 15. Um, then to capture it, you need to dodge a special attack, so just dex a special attack. Uh, while they are unarmed, their block proficiency drops to 0% and they take 800% more damage hit when into block. So somebody on this path who'd be really good is Valkyrie. You think with those pierces already, the increased um, hit into damage or hit in, strikes into block when it's unarmed um, you do an absolute ton of damage also that linked quite well with the berserk uh, while the weapon node is on cooldown the defender gains a three se second non-stacking unstoppable passive whenever they dash forward so valkyrie you know because you, you, you're hitting into the block one they're not dashing forward as much but two they are um She's um she's a counter to that. So for this path, champs you want, you can you can really play it two ways. You can either play with the fragility passive, so uh, champs like Shang Chi, Kate Bishop, um, anyone who sort of counters evade. Because when you look at the path, evade or miss, you've got Mars Morales. You need a miss counter. Spider Gwen. You need a mi uh, evade counter. Then Quicksilver. You sort of need an evade counter, but he is quite annoying. But other than those three. Really, you can use um, use any champ for this who has high crits or um, hits into blocks. So Masakre would also be uh, pretty good. So really, depending on which way you play it, if you choose to just disarm the weapon node um, when it's unarmed, strike into block, wait for it to um, refresh, then disarm it again with 15 or a multiple of 15... Uh, combos then uh, you continue to play it that way the way i would play it is i would um disarm it with a 15 combo right until i would strike into the block right until the end or this is how i played this path right until all, it almost refreshed then dodge let them throw a special attack dodge that uh, and capture it and then play with the weapon node on me so um constantly hitting into their block or block a hit just so that they're power locked, so they can't, you know, hit those uh, SP1s, SP2s, you know, they can't throw loads of their special attacks. So just to re recap, champs for this, champs with high crits, um, you and do a lot of damage, um, miss counters and evade counters, so Shang-Chi is a really great champ for this, uh, Kate Bishop would be good for this with the tracking and the evade counter, you look at some of the champs I've got here, Hercules is obviously going to be good because as soon as you disarm it, that weapon node, you are um, going to be able to do big crits. Kitty Pride's another one. Um, Venom for because they are 
Some of them are Spider Champs, so Spider Gwen, he's a good counter there. The Overseer I used for the Symbiote Supreme, just so that he couldn't gain lots of power from nullifying my um, buffs. So that's that path, probably the easiest path on here. Really not too much to think about. Just bring in your favourite champs and a few champs for uh, the specific defenders like Mars Morales when he throws a special attack. Obviously with the passive special lock, he may not be able to do it as much. And um, your Quicksilver and spider Gwen counters. So that's probably the easiest path. Second easiest path, the one we're getting with Daredevil. At the start of the fight, the attacker's block proficiency decays to zero across 15 seconds. At zero, the defender is then passively unblockable. Um, this is reset when you throw a striker or relic. So your champs have to have relics or the champ or the defender will always be unblockable. Each time the defender struck, they gain dispersal charge, reducing all damage by uh, 5%. So as soon as you've hit them 20 times, you need to throw a heavy attack, if not before, to ensure you're still doing as much damage as you possibly can. And then the rest of the um, nodes are neither here nor there. Uh, in your face, intercept and defenders dash attack with a striker. Grants you a fury buff, but it's, again, that's nice damage, but it's not the end of the world. Um, that I feel like that in your face sort of gets you to throw the, um, the relic a bit earlier, which, you know, sometimes you might not want to do. So the way to play this is... As soon as your relic's full, throw it or use it. Then heavy attack on that relic hit and just constantly do that so that you're doing, um, you're maximizing the amount of damage you can do, but you're also not letting them get unblockable. Tricky defenders on here. I don't really feel like there is some. I feel that Titania is quite an easy champ. If you block her in the corner with a Kate Bishop or whoever your favorite champ is or a champion that you enjoy. She's not too much of a problem. You just sort of wait out the unblockable and unstoppable and the indestructible. Uh, Daredevil's not an issue. I use Kitty Pride for this and um, he was obviously a miscounter and he was just hitting into a phase. She was taking no damage and that fight was just a really weird interaction, the fight, but she worked. Squirrel Girl, you can use a Bleed Immune Champ. Her Just don't let her hit into your block. If she goes unblockable, she's quite annoying, so that's one to be careful of. The same with the last two. Both Joe Fix It and Elsa Bloodstone. Joe Fix It's SP1. If he throws it, you take a lot of bleeds from if he's passively unblockable. Um, so you've got to make sure that you're on it with that relic. And then with Elsa Bloodstone, her SP2 does a lot of damage. Keep her to SP1. And um, Symbiote or Sorcerer Supreme is neither here nor there as a defender. Both S special attacks are easy to uh, dex. So not too much to worry about on there. So like I said, any champ you want... Um, but make sure that they've got a relic and you play that with a throw your relic heavy attack or champs you've got heavy attack in there. So like Dr. Doom can be quite good. Shang-Chi can be quite good. Again, you know, as you can see, we're sort of mentioning the same type of people in a lot of these. Um, there are lots of other champs who will be used. I always think of Shang-Chi and Dr. Doom because I've got them both. You know, um, Silver Surfer's heavy attack would be quite good. Um you know, there's a lot of a lot of champs that you're able to use for these. Um, as, as you can see, these these last two pat like the last two paths we've spoken about, you can just use any champ you uh, you want. This one maybe not so much. I found this warlock one quite annoying. Um, I left it to the end. If you guys have heard, haven't watched the previous videos, I did this hundred um, percent as and when. So I did all the easy easier paths, the ones I knew I wouldn't need revives for. Then I went back. The ones like this Warlock on 8.4.2, I left a path. 8.4.3, I left a path um, towards the end so that I could just do them um, because they were a little bit more tricky, but still, you can get around them. So for this one, Interstellar Intensity, 50% less damage unless you've got an Intensity buff. Um, if you gain a Fury, then you get an Intensity buff. Um, so champs who have Fury. Uh, crossbones... Hyperion, um, thinking off the top of my head, who did I use? I used Silver Surfer because of his Furies. Um, She-Hulk doesn't work because it's just Furies, it's not passive Furies, so make sure you keep that in mind because that can be really annoying. I thought she'd be an awesome champ to use because you've also got the Unstoppable um, Fight or Flight and the Defenders last longer, so 
if there, you know, if She Hulk had worked with the slow, that would have been quite nice. Um, it's not a load of champs with Fury these days. Fury used to be quite a big thing. Um, it's not so much anymore. If I look through the champions I used, I took in, um, you know, I could have taken Aegon, but I didn't have him at the time. I used Silver Surfer. I used um, a Venom. Would was really good for this path. The um, Gallon. I I did end up using Gallon for for the path because he had quite a few um, Furies on that SP1, and, and he did work for taking down Warlock uh, quite nicely. You've got a lot of tricky defenders on here, and was why I left it for the end. I did also just bring in Herc and Kate Bishop, because 50% less damage for them is still quite a lot of damage. You know, it's only a 50% protection, so it's not like a 70%, 5% protection. So I did bring in Herc to sort of cheese some of this, because uh, I couldn't find, or I didn't personally have too many... Um, fury champs in my deck at that moment in time uh, when i completed it like i didn't have venom but venom would work really well so i sort of had to you know i had to change who i was um who i was going with and, and sort of cheesed it so difficult champs on here warlock hyperion can work quite well with him you want to kind of keep your warlock to the, that warlock to sp2 um namor not a problem i really really hate playing against dark hawk because he's got that shield mode where if you hit into him and he auto blocks you you take damage so i this is where i used hercules i just constantly use this true sense uh, if you've got other champs who have true sense and maybe a crossbones would work quite well for this because he's not getting auto blocked uh, strife was another one he goes into miss after his sp1 so i did use silver surfer but i also used hercules vision just don't be aware of that sort of ticking annoying um synthesize where he just gains lots of power um so just sort of keep him to his sp1 when you can and if he's just gained that synthesize then keep him to his sp2 moon dragon not an issue don't let a throw sp2 because you will take a lot of energy damage so that's that path again not that tricky when we look at the bosses uh, some of the harder bosses on the path uh on on 8.4 in my opinion we'll start with um spider-man when you throw a heavy attack, you gain 500% damage. So you can bring someone in and just constantly heavy with him. Um, each time he, you perform a well-timed block, uh, the defender gains a fury. When you dash back, if you dash back again within five seconds, you get a passive degen, which does quite a bit of damage, 200% of your uh, the defender's attack. And the, he's also immune to effects of Nullify, Stagger, Fate Seal, you know, all of all of those bits. He's also immune to bleed. So what I did for this was obviously I brought in um, somebody who's a miscounter. And that's all you've really got to worry about. Um, I obviously used Hercules, got to his SP1, constantly threw that and just heavy attacked um, him down. Because he's got quite, for somebody who um, is quite, you know, he's got a high prestige number there. His health is really low, so it does fly down. Um, Kate Bishop works because of the tracking on the heavy attacks. You can constantly throw heavies with her. Doom works, but he's not a miscounter. So, um, Professor X works quite nicely. Um, so there's quite a few champs here. Your miscounter champs are the ones you want to use. Be aware of the dashing back. But other than that, there's not too much to worry about on there. Just throw your heavies with a miscounter. S Sam Wilson, keep him to his SP1 before anything. Uh, then he's a 50% chance to inflict you with a cold snap each time he's struck or you block an attack. They won't trigger while he's suffering from an armor break, so you want to bring in armor break champs. Uh, Silver Surfer I used uh, quite nicely for this. Um, Null works nicely if you can get to his SP1 quite quickly. Um, Warlock worked as a cold snap immune champ. Um, Iron Man worked quite well. Um... There's quite a few uh, CGR works nice for this. Uh, whenever he receives an armor break while a stun is active, both are removed and he's afflicted with a cold snap debuff. So you can do it that way, but that obviously takes the um, it takes the armor break off him. So then you're still getting cold snaps. Um, he doesn't take any damage from cold snaps. So you don't really want to do that. You want to 
sort of have them at separate times. Uh, he does regen when that cold snap's on. So try not to throw an armor break while he's stunned. I know that can be quite um, difficult. But if you can get like champs with an SP1 with an armor break or um, like I like I mentioned with Silver Surfer, he phases so he can throw it then. Each time a cosmic attacker lands an attack, they have 10% chance for each armor break to gain for, on the defender to gain indefinite passive fury. So really, your Venoms, your Silver Surfers, um, CGRs work really well for this because if you can get lots of a, um, armor breaks on, they'll then get gain those passive furies. And that will increase your damage, lovely. So I did use Silver Surfer. He, you know, he absolutely smashed it. He does finally defender has ninety percent chance to auto block basic attacks, but for each buff you've got, uh, this is uh, taken away fifteen percent. So for six buffs, um, then the auto blocks away. Silver Surfer could did work for this, but he did get auto blocked a little bit, and he also is has a 100% chance to resist heavy block. So it's champs with lots of, um, who can do heavy attacks, but either can go unblockable easily or get their buffs up really quickly. Um, so like I said, Silver Surfer works really nicely for this. Uh, CGR works nicely. Uh, Venom can work, but isn't amazing. Then, you know, there's a few, there's a few champs out there, but really, if you've got a Silver Surfer, he'll really help you out. You know, we'll look at some of... It doesn't have to be Cosmics, but they obviously help. Um, Deathless King Groot would be a good one. Uh, Terax would be a good one. If um, you've got him. I don't quite think Hulkland will work, but Venom Pool uh, would. So there's a few champs in there that, that you can use. Uh, at the end of the day, you'll be able to get this fight down quite easily if you've got... Um, You've got the right champ. And then finally, Jessica Jones. She's a bit of a strange one because she's obviously, um, you know, you don't see her very often. Keep her to her SP2 uh, or, or any special type, but preferably her SP1. Uh, make sure you dex whatever she chucks so that she can't um, get lots of, um, put lots of debuffs on you or get, say, the regens or the unstoppable, whatever that item uh, grants her. If you don't know how she works, the item that she throws on that special one changes between sort of five or six and whatever she throws gives her an ability it might be to put um a debuff on you it might be to for you, for you to get an unstoppable uh, it does explain it more in her defender section her nodes the defender gains a definite fury passives every 10 seconds remove one from the defender when they're struck for the first time by medium combo ender the final hit of a heavy attack or a final hit of a special attack after Fury passive has been removed by one of these attacks, they can't be removed again until reset. So similar to what we saw um, about the protection passives on the Sasquatch. If you um, you just want to go through and put your medium combo ender in first, because that's usually what will happen. Parrier, final hit of a heavy attack, will take another one away, the Fury passive away, and then your special attack. Using the same type of special attack twice in a row gives you a delayed blast. If you don't, you then use a heavy attack. You take 50% of your health, so that's, you know, that's quite a lot. So you want to try and go between Special 1 and Special 2, or Special 3 and Special 1, whatever it may be. While their back is against the wall, the defender's special attacks can't be avoided with a dexterity, so don't let her push your back against the wall. And strikers deal a burst of damage equal to 100% of their damage dealt. Additionally, whenever an attacker striker finishes a combo, the attacker gains a Fury passive. So you can gain Furies uh, that way. She's also immune to poison, so there's quite a few champs who work for this. Um, it's more of a node issue than um, a, a defender issue. I used Kate Bishop, obviously. She worked really well. Um, sh again, Shang-Chi works well. Kingpin works quite nicely with this because you've got the unstoppable, so you can throw your heavy whenever. He also shrugs off any debuffs that she puts on him. Um, Elsa Bloodstone works quite can work quite well um zemo and nick fury can work uh, any skill champ really but like your Herx can work as well um kitty kitty pride would be quite good all sort of the best champs in the game work for as long as you play the nodes quite smartly so that's all for hope springs 6.3.5 hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos next we will have um 6.3.6 uh, 6 what am I talking about? 8.4.6. 
and um, then I'll do a separate video for the Glycan boss, um, just to give you guys a bit of an idea of that fight. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, comment down below how you've, if you've already achieved 100% completion, um, how you felt it went, or if you're going for it for that Valiant, um, do let me know. Uh, I'd love the interaction. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.